Let's pray. God of justice and compassion, you put down the proud and mighty from their place and lift up the poor and the afflicted. We give you thanks for your faithful witness, Jonathan Myrick Daniels, who in the midst of injustice and violence risked and gave his life for another. And we pray that we, following his example, may make no peace with oppression through Jesus Christ, the just one, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Jonathan Myrick Daniels boldness to confess the name of our Savior Jesus Christ before the rulers of this world and courage to die for this faith. Grant that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in us and to suffer gladly for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The two white men and two black women approach. Ruby Sales went first as John Daniels, wearing his seminarian's collar, reached to open the screen door for her. 
Richard Morris wrote that Joyce Bailey were several feet behind them. As Daniels opened the screen door, Tom Coleman suddenly appeared at the door with his shotgun. He shouted that the store was closed and ordered them to get off this property or I'll blow your goddamn heads off, you son of bitches. In that instant, Daniels asked if he was threatening them and pushed Ruby Sales out of the way and to the ground as Coleman, standing only a few feet from Daniels, abruptly fired his 12-gauge shotgun at the seminarian. At point blank range, range, a load of buckshot tore a hole in the right side of Daniels' chest. He fell backward onto the concrete apron and died instantly. At the first shot, Morris Rowe grabbed George Baker's hand and turned to flee. Coleman, however, lifted his shotgun and fired again. Buckshot struck the priest in the lower right back inside, and he fell to the ground. Sales then got up and ran with Bailey for cover. Coleman saw the other blacks standing on the corner in the distance and threatened to shoot them. He then left the shotgun at the store and drove off to the county court. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. And work through struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, no, we'll be done with the troubles of this world. Troubles oh, of this world. With the troubles of this world. No more weeping and wailing, no more weeping and wailing. A reading from Paul's letter to the Galatians. The scripture has imprisoned all things under the power of sin, so that what was promised through faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Now before faith came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Therefore the law was our disciplinary until Christ came, so that we might be justified by faith. But now faith has come. We are no longer subject to a disciplinary. For in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. As many of you were baptized into Christ and clothed, with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, who kindled the flame of your love and the heart of your holy martyr, Jonathan Myrick Daniels, grant to us, your humble servants, a like faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumph may profit by his example. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Love this world, going home to live.